Monkeypox is certainly grabbing headlines like a blockbuster nowadays, and everyone is curious and want to know, what is monkeypox? Doesn't it sound like something from Jungle Safari? Well, it does have a bit of a wild backstory. It's actually just a virus with an unusual name, and the virus was first identified in monkeys in a Danish lab in 1958. So we know that its causative agent is pox virus, and it belongs to orthopox virus genus. Now there are some funny questions arising in mind, like should I share my snacks with monkey? Ha ha ha, that's a silly question. Okay, a more serious one now. Should I be worried about symptoms? Or it's time to call sick and binge watch Netflix? Or should I really be avoiding my neighborhood's monkey bars? Okay, now let's get started. The main animals that carry the monkeypox virus are small mammals, especially rodents like squirrels, rats, and dorm mice, along with some species of monkeys. Monkeypox spreads in two main ways, animal to human and human to human transmission. Animals, especially rodents, can carry the virus without getting sick and can pass it on to humans. And then the virus spreads from human to human. Human-to-human -human transmission of monkeypox happens primarily through close contact. Infected animals, such as rodents and primates, can transmit the virus through bites or scratches. Humans can contract monkeypox through direct contact with the blood, bodily fluids, or skin lesions of infected animals. Monkeypox can spread from person to person through large respiratory droplets. However, Prolonged face-to-face -face contact is usually required for the virus to transmit. The virus can be transmitted through direct contact with the skin lesions or bodily fluids of an infected person, particularly during close physical contact, such as during sexual activity. The virus can also be spread by touching items like bedding, clothing, or other objects that have been contaminated. Okay, now let's discuss symptoms of monkeypox. Pox symptoms typically develop within 5 to 21 days after exposure to the virus. The symptoms can be grouped into two main phases, the early symptoms or prodromal phase and the rash phase. Fever is one of the first signs, usually high and sudden. Headache that is often severe and persistent. Muscle aches or myalgia, particularly in the back and limbs. General feeling of tiredness and lack of energy, shivering or feeling unusually cold, swollen lymph nodes or lymphadenopathy, particularly in the neck, armpits, or groin. It distinguishes pox from other similar rash illnesses like chickenpox or smallpox. Then comes the rash phase. The rash usually begins one to three days after the onset of fever. It often starts on the face and then spreads to other parts of the body including the palms of the hands and soles of the feet. The lesion progresses through several stages. The macules are flat, discolored spots on the skin. Papules are raised, firm bumps. Vesicles are small, fluid-filled blisters. Pustules are blisters filled with pus, which are usually painful. Scabs are the lesions eventually crust over and scab. Other symptoms may include sore throat. It can occur especially if the virus spreads to the mucous membranes. Cough is sometimes present, particularly if the respiratory system is affected. Conjunctivitis or other eye issues may occur if the virus spreads to the eyes. The illness typically lasts two to four weeks. The severity can vary, with some cases being mild and others more severe, particularly in individuals with weakened immune systems. Treatment for monkeypox primarily focuses on relieving symptoms, managing complications, and preventing long-term effects. Supportive care may include symptom management, like patients are given fluids to prevent dehydration and medications to reduce fever and pain. Keeping the skin lesions clean and dry is important to prevent secondary bacterial infections. Topical antiseptics may be applied to the lesions. Patients should be isolated to prevent the spread of the virus, as monkeypox is contagious. Let's move on to the antiviral treatment. 
Tecoviramat, or Tpox, is an antiviral originally developed for smallpox. It has shown effectiveness against orthopox viruses. Cidifober is another antiviral that may be generally reserved for patients with severe disease or who are immunocompromised. Brincidofober is a newer antiviral that has shown promise in treating orthopox virus infections, including monkeypox. Pre-exposure prophylaxis is for people at high risk of exposure. Vaccination can provide protection before any exposure occurs. Post-exposure prophylaxis vaccination with the Genio's smallpox vaccine can be used after exposure to the monkeypox virus to reduce the severity of the disease or prevent it altogether. Genio's vaccine is administered in two doses, 28 days apart. Full protection is usually considered to develop two weeks after the second dose, while ICM-2000 is administered as a single dose. We hope you found this video interesting. For more interesting and informative videos, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon.